the architecture, and his clothes incorporated that purity of line. Come to Paris, where the Palais Galliera Museum salutes the artistry of designer Pierre Balmain. When a visitor came, come, comes in Galliera, what he sees is an exhibition. For instance, this exhibition right now has a theme which is about the history of Pierre Balmain, the, the fashion house of Pierre Balmain. Everybody feels about Balmain as the founder, maybe not the founder, but the, the, the main um, designer for embroideries, beautiful evening gowns, and very, let's say, you know, he created the Jolie Madame, which is so French way of, of thinking of, about elegance. So I wanted to show the aspect of the Jolie Madame, but also to show other aspects of Balma, such as op art. We have some fantastic op art dresses here with geometrical designs, and just people were baffled when they saw the dresses here because they had simply forgotten that Balma had done these masterpieces. We devoted also a room uh, to dresses shown as painting. And so uh, you see that we, we see a connection between art and fashion because we wanted to have the, the dresses shown in frames really like paintings. And we eventually decided that the dresses Balma had done for some very famous women were today, for us, kind of portraits of these women. They are art by themselves. You understand that the, 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 uh, what I mean is that now fashion is by itself building a new art with its new vocabulary. And this is something very important happening in the, the last 10 years and, and for the next years to come too. I don't know that. I just work and I work with a great pleasure. You can decide if it's art or not. I just a man who work with heart. In the heartland of Spain lies a small fishing village near San Sebastian, home of one of fashion's greatest masters. His clothes were most often formal, uncluttered, balanced, restrained. His name was Cristobal Balenciaga, one of the greatest couturiers of the 20th century. Balenciaga is a genie. It was a genius. I want to, to work near Mr. Balenciaga because I'm thinking he's the greatest designer. Balenciaga was very modern. He was, he invented the modern couture, in fact. In New York's Fashion Institute of Technology, the Balenciaga masterpieces capture the imagination. The important contribution that Balenciaga made uh, was his refinement of cut. Uh, what Balenciaga did was he reintroduced this, uh, the tradition of the tailored pattern piece and refined it to a point where there was no place else for it to go. I mean, uh, lots of the pieces that are in this exhibition uh, are related to 19th century, even 18th and 17th century traditions, uh, but they've been reduced to such a point that they're almost not recognizable anymore. He wanted women to look dignified, that uh, his clothing uh, despite the fact that there are some pieces that seem a absolutely lighthearted and frivolous, uh, for the most part require um, a certain kind of seriousness about one's personal style. With Balenciaga, I think he's the one designer who almost every fashion connoisseur would say uh, was an important designer of the 20th century. Balenciaga, a fashion master. Russia a people and country deeply rooted in tradition and rich in culture. A land whose history is filled with pain and depression, victory and development. The rulers of Tsarist Russia, influenced by Europe, changed a civilization. Today, East meets West and Past meets Present in an exhibition of Russian costumes never seen before in the Western world. The Musée Jacques Mart André in Paris and the Hermitage Museum in Leningrad joined in this cultural exchange. It's, it's a very great collection because we never seen in the world, e even in the Musée de l'Hermitage, 80% uh, of the costume, uh, we, we, we have never shown that. 
and it's the first time in the world we can show this costume. And uh, it's a cultural ev event because of that, of course. The collection is absolutely magnificent because, you know, the Soviet people actually, they, they need the story, you know? And they protect the story, and they protect the clothes, they protect the, the inspiration, you know? And they need, they, 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 they need a, a, an, an expression like that. We begin with Peter the Great, and until Nicolas II, the last Tsar. Peter the Great came in France when um, Louis XV was a child. And he came here, and he had such a, an, an admiration for Louis XIV, because he had never seen in his life such a, such a castle like Versailles, such a, a, a court like, like the court of, of Louis XIV. And he, he decided to change uh, the, the, he, he, the way of his country, you know. He, he changed everything, and I think they, they began a new civilization. They decide to change the, the, the clothes. They decide to collect paintings, masterpieces, because of friends, you know. For, for me, it's a great exp experience to work with them and Yves Saint Laurent because it, there is no politic, there is only the fashion, the clothes, the magnificence, and the, the dream.